Welcome back everybody, Kathy Arbor here, and today is Watercolor Tuesday, Paint Along. And I hope you'll um, get your creativity going and give this a try, or just get out your paper or sketchbook, whatever you have, and just start being creative. Uh, so I thought I would show uh, what we've done so far this month. So this will be the last one for October that we're going to be doing today. Actually, Thursday will be the last one. Um, so we started off with fairies this month and uh, this is the first one we did in my Michael's very inexpensive sketchbook. It's not watercolor paper. But you can use watercolor and ink in them and uh, it's just a little bit of a different process of, of painting. So this was my uh, stick fairy I guess you could call her and these are my original drawings. Um, these aren't copies from anybody they're just my own imaginative ability. <laughs> hey Dot good to see you! So that was week one, and then we did this one, and this is just painted on copy paper. So you can paint with watercolor on copy paper. You just have to make sure you don't uh, do too many wet layers all at once. So you just dry in between. And as you can see, uh, it you just put it um, in between a couple heavy books, and it goes flat again. So this was our honey taster. And then we did our leaf painter. And this is on watercolor paper. It's just a 140 pound uh, Fabriano, I believe it was. And we used some uh, glimmer watercolor from uh, Xandra gifted me. And then, oh this was a Thursday stream, a little honey bear around uh, a bunch of sunflowers. That was fun. And all, <coughs> excuse me. All of these have traceables that are available on the members uh, site and you can find that out more in the description of below and if you're watching on a repeat a rerun or whatever they call it um, recording <laughs> you can get that um, I'll put it up in the top corner here now this was last Thursday's and it's the little pumpkin houses it's a fairy house and I just did this on watercolor paper and this is acrylic paint it was a lot of fun to do So today, I drew up this little guy, and he is the art supply trickster. <laughs> so this little guy steals your art supplies and misplaces them, is what I'm saying it is. <laughs> you know how you go to look for something and it's gone and you swear you could have put it there? just a few seconds ago and it's it's disappeared. Well, this is who's doing it. <laughs> so there is a traceable for this one also for the members and you can download that one. And if you want, you can paint along or just watch the um we watch me paint it now and then you can go back and uh stop and go with the video as you progress along. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing this book. I just got this, and this is a watercolor artist, and she's from the Netherlands, and she has to be one of the most fantastic watercolorists I've seen in a long time. Um, just for me, at least, each one of her drawings in watercolor are very deep in meaning. And I thought I would show you this book. It's fantastic. So if you ever want to 
have a uh, art plus a little bit of a story in it, this is the one to go to. So I'll show you that at the end of the stream. So I printed on a piece of watercolor paper uh, and I just use my uh, laser water or laser uh, printer and it has a individual single feed area for thicker paper and it does a pretty good job and I like using the laser because then the lines won't move on me. So we're just going to start this guy and I like to usually start in the bigger areas and then work along the smaller areas so we're going to be starting off probably with his pants, leggings, whatever you want to call them and I'm just going to drop in water. So I've got my uh, number 8 here and this is a silver back black velvet. I like these, they have a nice point. I also have some Rosemary and Company spotters and these are a little stiffer but they hold a lot of water and they, um, the bristles are shorter and that gives you a little bit more control in the details. So let's, uh, wherever you put the water is where the color will go. It won't spread past that water area. Now you could use um, Frisket if you wanted to. Um, I just didn't have time to put that on. Sometimes I use it but not that often. Uh, I don't do really huge paintings so I can see if you had a lot of detail, like maybe uh, branches on a tree or something like that. Well, I guess I shouldn't have done that part. Um, I just did his leg and that's not good. So I gotta think, do I let it dry? Yeah, I'm probably going to have to do some of his leg fur. Well, that was silly of me. Now the colors I'm going to do. Um, let's see. I think I'll do the green again. So a nice olivey yellowy green. So I have this uh, Da Vinci leaf green. It's a really pretty green. It's very bright. Don't need a whole lot of it and I want it fairly pale. And you can just spot it in or you can brush it on. Because your, air, your whole area of the leg is done in water first, you can just spot it on. Depending on the different types of watercolor, each one will move a little differently. Some of them are really um, quick moving, some are, uh, they just sit there, they don't move much. So I'm going to try and stay away from that leg there. So I just want a base coat on this. Now you can also just add a little bit underneath here if you want. That's where the uh, shadow would be. Just by putting a little bit more pigment on your brush so it's a little thicker, not so watery, that will give it the uh, shadowed effect. Okay, and to remember that they do dry lighter, so keep that in mind. A little 
but and we'll go in with also some pen work so don't worry if you don't see um, enough contrast you can always add some more later or just pen work it's up to you so how are you doing dot it's very cool rainy fall here i feel like i'm in the uk <laughs> I'm going to do his little shoes, maybe the same color, I don't know. I think I'll do his um, jacket um, probably kind of a um, hmm, burgundy maybe. And then maybe some nice gold sleeves. And give them gold shoes, I guess. See, now this is going on the... So I'm just going to soft that up. You can also take a wet or damp brush and wipe that up a little bit. So he's stolen my paintbrush and my <laughs> Prismacolor white pencil. Let's do his gold vest. So I'm going to, mm, let's see, what color would I want to do? I think I'm going to do Wenzer Newton yellow ochre for his sleeves and his shoes. I think they're all at Kathy and Colleen's dot. So there's little shoes here, and then this is wet on dry now. You could take a smaller brush too. And do this. I have to be careful going on. See, I've touched that green and it's seeping into my shoes. I have to be careful. Got some paint coming off of his little shoes, slippers, wherever they are. We can add some darker areas. The back here, maybe. Be a little bit of a shadow. Let's do his... Hi Michelle! Yeah, he's a little trickster fairy. Stealing my art pencils. And paintbrush.
I'll give him a little collar on his shirt underneath the vest. <clears throat> and a nice burgundy color. Let's see. I think I will use Quinn Cad Red. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe add a little bit, a smidgen of blue to it, or mm, maybe green, maybe. A little bit of blue, maybe. Have to be careful not to go into these areas. I should actually just dry it. Asking for trouble. Actually, that's not part there. Okay, let's try this. How's everybody doing? Are you getting time to be creative? If so, what are you doing? Or are you busy raking leaves? <laughs> Pretty, um cool and wet here. We're, we aren't even able to do the leaves yet because of it. It's so darn rainy. The ground's even squishy. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit more of that ochre in. Just in his, underneath his arm here. A little bit more of a condensed color. Just give it a little bit of shading on the bottom part of his sleeve. Oh, 70 to 80 degrees. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of hard to get comfortable to do any kind of creativity. Ugh, sweat's rolling off you. I 
I'm just going to take a little bit of this off the top of his leg just so I can make a little bit of a highlight. Not much, but a little bit. I could also take a colored pencil and do that too. Um, let's put in this vest here that these um, black velvet silver black velvet brushes they have really nice points so you can get a really thin line and you could also go uh, if you have the watercolor markers you could use those So, a bit of green on his leg I don't want. We might, might have to leave it. Alright, so we'll give him... Hmm, yellowish soft soft I'm just going to mix a little bit of this ochre with um, that red just to make it a little bit on the orangey side I'm just going to put it over his entire face just as a wash And I think I'll just um, his hands too. And then we'll come in with a finer brush to do the more detailed shaded areas. Are very small or you could use a colored pencil so you don't want to if you don't want to do this really fine detail you could also use colored pencils for these just gonna do the inside of his ear a little bit by just dabbing and let's see a little bit more of that color on his legs. We have a little bit more of a shadow on the back of his legs and around the cuff of the stockings or boots or whatever they are. Put that in. We can always add this again, so don't worry about it too much. Let's put a little bit more under his chin here. And maybe around his 
hairline. All right, so we have a nice uh, black paintbrush here. So let's see, we'll do we'll make a paint or a black, soft black. So I got some raw umber here. So if you do, uh, kind of gives you a grayish. You can play with it. Just keep adding it till you like the color. There. So I'm just going to do this paintbrush, and the bottom is going to be definitely darker. I'm not worried about that white on the top because that'll be kind of shiny. And let's do some of that ochre on his hair also just to give it some color and then we can add highlights and low lights to it once it's dry. Kind of has curly hair. This is a real easy one, guys. So I hope you'll give it a try. This is going to be an ink bottle. So I'm just going to And that's the stopper on the top, so I want a little bit more condensed, more color. Underneath here. Just take out a little bit center here where the highlight would be and just a little bit on here. That's kind of underneath so I don't have to worry about that. And the colored pencil I can leave and just do, do the wood part. So kind of a ochre color for the wood. And you just leave the tip of it white. I 
we don't see the bottom of it. The bristles can be done in a this color, I guess. And we'll put paint on it also once it's dry. And let's see, a little bit on the bottom here. This is kind of a silvery color. It's the, the feral. Don't have to do a whole lot on there. And I think we're going to do his wings with that sun gold, is it called? Yeah, sun gold. So his, he's stepping in paint, going across my paper. <laughs> so we'll put, let's see what color. Maybe blue, a nice blue. I think, cerulean blue. And then we'll just highlight it. Put it on the tops of his, or just underneath his slipper, so you can see that he's stepped in it. laughing about it, of course. <laughs> we gotta do this one too. He's got it on his bottom of his slippers and big drop of it. I guess it'll have to be blue on there too, on the end of the um, brush. So we'll just put that on. And then we can also add uh, streaks for and highlights. Let's give him some reddish colored hair. So we'll put, hmm, I have some yellow right here, so I'm just going to mix it with that yellow color. And then we'll just add some curls. A little darker. Just a few dark areas. Maybe 
seem brighter. We'll give it a time to dry and then we'll brighten it up a little bit. Um, Darkening that shadowed area under his pant leg. Look at a shadow under his chin. And in his ear. A little bit more. And then we'll just give him kind of rosy cheeks. I'm just mixing a little more of that red in that mix. And just by the cheek area, by the mouth, I want it fairly watery though. So have a little bit of water on your brush. And just with the tip of your brush, you can just do a little bit of a C. And just on the edge here. And then in the corner of the eye. This is really tiny, so. Under the nose, just a smidge. And the lips. Doesn't take much. Hey Devin! Hi Joan! It's uh, printables for all the members so you can download it if you want it. I'm going to give him a little bit more in his ear here, just in the very base of the ear, maybe in the eye. Just kind of dots here and there. <laughs> Under the chin a little bit more.
I have a little bit of a shadow under their fingers here. Just a bit. And too much. And we'll just um, darken around the one side of the head just a bit. I'm just going to soften that hard edge there. And maybe a little bit there. All right. Now let's put, actually there's some here. I went, it went outside the line. So I can just hopefully soften that out. And then the wings are going to be that gold, sun gold. Just have to wet this first. And then we can add a bunch of um, line work on top. This is so pretty. I love this stuff. Got it all. And then I'm just right under the um, a pencil, I'm just going to put a really light coat of gray just to show that. Uh, there's a bit of shading in this. Like that. And then even the bottom here. So now I'm going to give that a quick dry.
Kim. Thanks. he is so far. So that's just a base coat. So now I can go in with a finer brush and do a little more shadows. Um, if you've got gouache you could do some highlights with white gouache. Um, So here's the green. This is the rosemary number, rosemary and company number two. So it'd be a little bit. Well, I might darken that. Maybe a little bit of red. A little bit under here. Now this here I had gone over it, so I'm just gonna brush it. See if I can get the screen up. So with clean water. Not bad. Okay, that's better. You clean up your edges. And then a little bit more shading in this area, but red color. So I'm going to might add a little bit of blue to that or purple just to darken it a little bit so I can put some darker areas. Darker in the front part here. best. Just take some of these hard edges away. Yeah. 
and a little bit more on that. Mm, little vapor. Boots. might be darker because they're all wet full of paint because they've been he's been running through my painting causing problems here. Should do it. I think I'm going to put a little bit more around his eyes, but this is going to have to be careful. I don't want him to look like he's got a black eye. And just soften some of those hard lines so they're not
there. Maybe under his hairline here. Let's see a little bit darker. All right, so now I'm going to make a little bit more of that blue with the um, umber. So I want a little bit darker. On the um, under the rim of the ink jar it can be darker too bring it out Michelle, Kathy, you should keep doing these cute little guys. Just look. Oh, thanks, Michelle. Yeah, I'll do them. I'll keep doing them now. I'm not going to do them every single week, but yeah, I'll we'll continue doing them. I like doing them. They're fun. <laughs> okay, let's dry this up and then we'll do some pen work. pen should I use? Black or sepia? It's a five. I don't want five. Um,
fairly dark. Let's see how this works. Might not. Uh... Well, it's not bad, I guess. It's kind of fine, but Very fine. I don't know where I put all my number three. I gotta check something. Try this number two black. Maybe it won't be too heavy a line. We'll see.
I'm basically uh, concentrating more on the bottom shadowed areas with the line work. I do a little bit on um, the tops, like for detail as texture, but I like to leave a lot for the viewer to um, fill in. Put some hairs in here. Put some highlights on the, the wet paint too. Kathleen, he does kind of have a Peter Pan vibe, <laughs> vibe about him. Do some curly cues here and there. suggestion. You don't want to get too crazy because it's fairly small. 
just a suggestion that it's curly hair. And then I'm gonna just put that in a little bit darker. Now let's do the um, wings. So we have a rib of the wing there. I'm going right over top of that um, sun gold paint. So I want these wings to show up. Um, I don't know if I probably won't put in all the lines. It's already drawn in. So I want it uh, more delicate looking. So if I, if I put all the dark lines in with this black, I think it might um, lose that look of uh, delicate of it and um, be more a little too bold but I am gonna shade in a little bit right there because it still sparkles but Shade that in a little bit. It's a, kind of a muddy color, basically. Kind of a grayish blue shade. Yeah, that's better. Um, okay. And put that in. Now I did write um, the number and white and then part of Prisma on there. So I'll, I think that one was in. Oh, it's in black. So I will put that in. All. Just checking to see if it was all caps. And then part of an M. There. I'm going to put a little bit more line work in here instead of shading it with Just some lines.
a little darker. Get in there. And then I can go in with a white Posca or Now I gotta do this too. Stopper. And Maybe a little bit of line work. Okay, let's get some Posca out. Hey, Zena. Thanks. bit of a highlight on the rim maybe Something down there a little bit on his nose. Shake this again. Oop. Smidge it on his nose and his cheek. And maybe a little bit 
on his eye there. Tops of his ears. Bit of shine, maybe there. Tops of his shoes, maybe. Pants. The nice thing about this is you can always paint over it too. Alright. There he is. A few more lines in here. I hope you like them and again the printables um, in for all members so you can just check out the community um, tab on the, my uh, main channel page and it, you'll find it there so now I want to show you that book This has to be, I just fell in love with this book. It's a watercolor artist from the Netherlands. Um, this just came out in English. And it's actually a story. <laughs> but each page only has a few words, but it's all about the paintings that she's done in watercolor. They all have a very deep meaning to them and it may be different for everyone um, or you may see the same thing, I don't know. But I fell in love with this book. So All Colors of Life, it's called. So, you know, when you get old, <laughs> A child's life like look at the it's just gorgeous it's got so much um, expression it's each page actually tells a story remember playing in the summer rain <laughs> it just brings back memories it's so beautiful Remember bright summer evenings and the scent of dandelions on your fingertips?
Remember how summer was greener. Winter was whiter. And Christmas was simply magical. Like, doesn't that look like magical to you? It explains it so much. You wouldn't need even need that. Remember being curious. And how we discovered new worlds. With forests filled with knights and elves. Where uh, we were ladybugs who didn't want to come in for dinner. <laughs> Birds high up in the trees. and guardians of the ocean floor. Someday we felt strong and invincible. Other days we got scraps and scars. Scrapes and scars. <laughs> you know, all the band-aids on them. <laughs> Sometimes the world was unfair. That's kind of cool. She did all this work, made this fantastic sandcastle, and they just built pill pillars. <laughs> Yet he was measuring the height, not the work. And you had to fight. But I hope you felt that you were loved. Isn't that gorgeous? A teenager's life. We stopped playing. We got our first crushes and try deodorant. <laughs> thought that was so cute. <laughs> Maybe you loved school. This <laughs> head's a book. Maybe you struggled through it. <laughs> the parents just pulling them up the stairs. Like, there's so much meaning in these. I, I just love paintings that do this. Maybe you had a teacher you've never forgotten. We changed. And the grown-ups grew uneasy. Stuff he's got on. <laughs> Some days we want to rebel. Other days we needed a dad. One day, a grown-up asked if you wanted coffee, too. <laughs> exactly, Devin. Sometimes the world got messy. He's got everything on his shoulders and his head. Other times, it lay at your feet. I hope your wings will carry you. A life of one's own. <laughs> All by himself. 
should you take the dive or not? I love this. You feel like you don't know the wor words of the song the grown-ups are singing. <laughs> You're unsure of the path. Maybe being a student is overrated. Maybe it's the best time of your life. We seek. I love this. Look at all the frogs and she's kissing them all. <laughs> that was awesome. And maybe we find. Such bliss. To find. The one. So they did dif different. Um, um, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend. And then boyfriend, boyfriend. To love. I thought that was really cool. <laughs> nothing here but it doesn't need anything but then every day comes along <laughs> isn't that so tip so today <laughs> I thought this was perfect oh. and we need to keep peace Maybe it all falls apart. Or maybe it's the two of you. A new life. <laughs> I love this one. <sighs> you wish there were a user manual of this. There's stuff all over. Husband's sleeping. He's tired. You're breastfeeding. <laughs> um, what was that? You wish there were a user manual for difficult mornings. <laughs> the kid won't get dressed. And you're late. The time and the set, like it just tells the story, the whole thing. Look at this days. <laughs> She's under the desk, and he's coming in with the kids hanging off of him, the dogs pooping on the floor. <laughs> oh. the scribbles all over the walls and stuff. Laundry's piled high. I thought that was so cool. Days and nights. <laughs> he's, he's batting the sheep. <laughs> he won't go to bed. He won't go to sleep. <laughs> he won't pay attention to the sheep. It takes a troll. <laughs> You discover new sides of yourself. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Oh gosh. You understand what it really means to be pressed for time. Yep. And a moment alone is simply golden. <laughs> It doesn't matter what the conditions are. Oh. <laughs> but now and then time stands still.
you see the whole world through new eyes. <laughs> and you're and you've never been filled with so much love. A grown up's life. <laughs> Young and promising and she's going downhill on her roller skates. I actually sent this one to Colleen because of the roller skates. I thought it was so cool. <laughs> uh, it used to be you playing in the summer rain. Maybe you finally figured out who you are. Or maybe you're still searching. Someday we're strong and immor immortal. Other days we're just plain run down. <laughs> She's got tire marks over her. <laughs> The kids say goodbye and move out. It's never been so quiet. To put something underneath there. Maybe you grow closer. That's kind of cool. It's a tree. Or maybe it's all it all falls apart. Maybe she's sawing the the swing between them. Like there's so much meaning in these. This is the type of art that I love is when the one painting tells the story. You can seek and find again. or carry on alone. Now we are the ones who have to take care of mom and dad. Suddenly we are the oldest. A long life. <laughs> we have to start learning the song the retirees are singing. But it's strange. On the side you're 22. On the inside you're 22. Maybe you've had grandchildren. The Christmas will be magical again. We finally have the time to do what we want. <laughs> She's, this is going to be Jean <laughs> knitting. During the day, I was just sleeping in a field of flowers. And at night, <laughs> maybe you're an optimist. <laughs> That's cute. Maybe you're scared and the world seems unfamiliar. But I hope she still makes you feel safe. I hope he still sees you.
Maybe you forgot what has passed. You will feel lonely. You will, you will suffer loss. But you carry your whole life within you. I hope that, I hope you feel that you were loved. And that's the end. Isn't that a beautiful book? I just love this book. <sighs> Absolutely love this book. I, I go through these pages all the time. <laughs> I'd love to try and paint some of these too. Just to try out it in um, watercolor. Maybe even some uh, other. Isn't it a wonderful book? It's just beautiful. I got this on Amazon. Um, I think it was $32 Canadian. It was 22 or something like that American. Um, but it just came out, the, the um, English version. You could get this in another um, language. Spanish, I think. I can't remember. But it just came out in... Uh... Yeah, isn't it touching? It's just such a beautiful... I don't know about younger would appreciate it, but I know um, older people definitely um, would appreciate it because it brings back so many memories and feelings. And that's what I love about this book and her paintings. So check this book out if you love this type of art. I do. Um, sentimental. Um, it's just a beautiful book. So I thought I'd share it with you and um, if you get one that's great and like like I said I'm gonna try and learn her style I love that um, why not learn from people that know how to do stuff that's how you learn to paint draw whatever take something that you truly love and try and do it. Try and draw it. Try and paint it. As long as you're not selling it, this is how artists learn to find their own style. By, by trying out art from other artists. Alright, so I'll let you guys go and we'll see you on Thursday. And We'll be doing, eh, not sure yet. I'm thinking of a face. Maybe, because I typically do one of those pumpkin faces at the end of the uh, month. Uh, I haven't found one yet, but I might do a, maybe not pumpkin, but maybe a scary face, like Frankenstein. Well, I did Frankenstein already. I don't know, something. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. So I'll let you guys go, and you have a fantastic creative day, and we'll see you on Thursday. Bye for now.